Namaste. The first thing you have to do in the morning, you have to elongate the spine. That means you are stretching the spine with the natural curve. So push the tailbone out a little bit and tighten the abdomen wall and bring your shoulders back and lock the fingers here and bring your arms up. Remember, you are pushing the tailbone to the back a little bit. So the L1 to L5, the lumbar area, so we really push. And you bring the shoulders back. You can really stretch the middle part of the spine. Stay there. Breathe in, breathe out. You can stay there a few more seconds here. Breathe in and breathe out. So, always think about deep breath means not what you think. Inhale all the way, the lungs are full. Then exhale all the way down by tightening the abdomen wall. One more time, inhale and exhale. That's a deep breath. So, you have to take the air maximum in and the toxin maximum out. Then we have to fix the C1 to C7. That's the upper part. So look at the ceiling and relax your head. And also you can take deep breath. And by looking at the ceiling, relaxing your head, pushing the tailbone out, bring the shoulders back and take deep breath. So once you can relax the head fully, that means C6, C7, open. Now move the head little bit to fix the supporting tissues on the back side of your neck. Inhale and exhale. Now look straight. Look down. Look at the floor. Press the chin on the body and move here. That's in straight. Look at one side. Bring your chin closer to the shoulder. Shoulder is really back. See, shoulders are really back. So bring your chin maximum connected to the shoulder. Now inhale up. Look at the ceiling. Bring the chin up. Exhale down a little bit further. Down to the front corner. Up. Down. Up. Down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Keep doing a few more times. You are really stretching the neck muscles. The shoulders are really locked. Now stay here. And let it go. So what we did? We elongate the spine. That means we create the stretch in the vertebrae. C to C7 and T1 to T12 and L1 to L5 we stretch. Now don't get confused that we are not taking the pranayama. Pranayama is really controlling the breathing pattern, nothing else. So in my opinion, my experience, if you move your body along with you to control the breath, that will be better than sitting and doing this. So we can fix the neck and shoulders with pranayama. Stretch here, one. So pushing the wall, so my wrist to the tip of the finger should be 90 degree, same, same way, push the tail out. Look at both sides. From the wrist to the tip of the 90 degree. Pushing the wall. See? Bend your elbows and pushing the wall. Stay here. The shoulders back. Mopping the wall. Inhale and exhale. Other way. Now stay here. Then we can start from here. Inhale all the way to one side. Hold your breath. Exhale slowly to the other side. Exhale. See? When you reach here, hold again. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Hold. Inhale. Hold. Now exhale to the other side. Hold. Inhale back. Hold. Exhale. Hold. And look straight. So you can really feel, when you really do this with the breath, you can feel the stretch. Relax few seconds. 
Now two. Second position, bring the fingers down, all the way down, and the tip of the fingers are facing to the floor. Say here, tail out. Now, just rotate the shoulder, say. The other way. And you can add this also, just bring your, bend your elbow a little bit and pushing, then pushing the wall. Stay here, look at the tip of the fingers, flex the fingers towards the body, bring the shoulders back. Now start from here, look at the floor, inhale, hold, exhale down, hold, inhale up, hold, exhale down, hold, look straight, let it go. Now fixing the body, same time you are connecting the breath. Third one, the palm facing to your body, fingers, fingers are pointing to the ceiling. Bend your elbows and push it. Rotate the shoulders. Connect the breath. Other way. Now look at the palm and relax your head. Inhale all the way. When you reach here, hold. Then again, let it go. Again inhale, hold. Then empty the lungs. Again inhale. So when you relax the head and bring it, inhale and bring it here, empty the lungs, look straight down. So when you really tighten, you can feel that your shoulder muscles and neck muscles are really getting strong. Fourth one, the palm facing to the body, fingers are pointing to the floor, wrist to the tip of the fingers at 90 degree, like pushing the wall like this. So you are fixing the supporting muscle for the elbows, stay here, shoulders, rotate, connect the breath, other way. Now start exhaling, hold the breath and inhale fast here. Then exhale slowly, inhale fast, hold, exhale, one more time, inhale, exhale, down. Now the palm facing to the, facing each other, rotate the shoulders, other way, now drop the ears down to the shoulders, inhale and exhale. Six, the palm is pushing against the wall. <clears throat> now rotate the shoulders, other way. Now relax. <clears throat> so what we should do is actually, we are changing the base and fixing the supporting muscles. When you really practice, you will get the benefit. Six here. Number eight by standing. No other way. Now laying down eight. Other way. Yeah. Seven. The palm facing to the side wall. Fingers are pointing to the back. Start from here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now start from here. Inhale. Exhale, inhale and exhale. Eight, palm facing each other, fingers are pointing to the back wall, rotate the shoulders, connect the breath, other way. Now create good circle with your face and drag the chin here. The same way bring it back here, inhale and exhale. Another way and same way back. Now, no last few seconds. So we did eight position and we stopped. This is stopping area here, like a resistant area. Other side we moved. So you have to listen to me this because 
suffer any infection, not only this COVID, our muscles become very weak. Then you feel tired. So even for stretching, it's very hard. But only way to do is actually stretch. So what is stretching? We are coordinating the neuromuscular skeletal system and connecting the circulatory system open. So the circulatory system open means that each cell need one touch of oxygen from you, even in a remote area. Move the shoulders fast. Other way. Now bring your shoulders really up and relax the fingers here. Okay. Now bring your shoulders really back here, up and relax the fingers here. Move the fingers. Now bring your shoulders for a little bit forward and bring it up and relax. So I'm releasing the stress from the tip of the nerves. Now just a little bit down. Look at the front wall, bring your shoulders up and do this. Now move the shoulders, one after another, up and down, sit back, forward, and back. Now we can do together, Re relax the fingers and move the fingers and move the shoulders. So you have to really understand each finger has to move separately. Now one after another. Keep doing it. <coughs> One after other. See? Now opposite. Good. So how do you know that your shoulders are balanced? Usually we don't understand that. When you look at the mirror, you think that okay, everything is okay. Press the palm here and bring your arms up, see? So when you look at my shoulder, shoulder is really back. Now look at one side, it's open. It's not open means, just watch me, the shoulders are here. Open means you bring it back here. Push it back all the way. Now start from here, rotate, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Other way. Now press the palm here. See, the top of your head. Then keep pressing the palm and stretch your head in circle. Create good circle. Other way. So all the supporting muscles have to be really open. Now don't move the head, rotate the shoulders. Other way. Bring it up and bring it down and straighten the elbows up and down and turn the fingers to the back push the shoulders back stay here and bring your elbows closer to the ears now bring your palm down up and down now bring it back down okay. so the shoulders almost we almost try to fix and we open up the joints so now the main Problem is the pelvic. So visualize the hip bone. It's a very strong bone. And there's a hip flexors at the, then the two strong bones, femur, are really connected here. So what the problem with the back pain is, we are always sitting on the tailbone. So that's where the structure, we sit on the couch, even sit on the chair, you go like this. So even though you think that your back pain is coming from the base, maybe, maybe from the upper part, because you are looking down. So I want to teach you how this problem comes every day. So the real design, we can go one second for the real design. Bend your knee, and this is the design, see, four legs. So I'm looking straight, so watch me from there, when I go there, I'm looking up. So in other way, watch me, I'm looking up and keep looking up and bring this here. That's a position, that's where the animal position, a real original design, back. 
So when you look at the computer, when you read the book, you are looking down, you are not looking straight. I mean, when you use your common sense, you understand that. So we always complain about the shoulder and the neck and the pelvic and the lower back. So my whole point is maybe, maybe not from the base, maybe from the top. So we have to fix the both side. Now here, you push on the tail board, right? So push the tail out. Push the tail out. Now stay here. So imagine we have a big tail, then smooth the tail without bending your knees. So if your imagination is really good, a big tail, so tip of the tail, first you think that's in the back corner, right? But to push more, so tip of the tail in the front corner, the same tail, you push it here, front corner. Keep doing it, pushing the tail out and fixing it. So the growing connected to the lower back, please do that. Especially if you have back problem. Now, supporting muscles from the cordyceps and adductor magnus and hamstring also create back problem. So when you go like this, the tip of the tail is in the front corner, bend your knees and up and down. See? So look at the front wall and up and down. See? Now, take this tail to the other side, up and down. Usually when, see like it's the same way. No, you have to really practice this. Now, you always have flexibility. We have no place to flex. That's why there's no ability to flex. Because there's no space inside. So how you create the space? You can shift the body weight from one side to the other side. without bending your knees, just you are shifting the body weight from one side to the other side. Stay here. So I tighten this knee and I create an imaginary socket in the lower back in the corner. Stay here. My weight is on this side. Bring this knee up. So I am now sure that my weight is on this side. So stay here. Back. Stay here. So that is one yoga posture but called the tree pose. See? This shows that I can shift the body weight to one side and my narrow base can hold my body in one side, other side. So it's here, bring it up and slowly practice this, it will take some time, back here. So that's the way you have to learn with a baby step to do the final postures. Take deep breath. Now, we move here, like move here. So that is, we are connecting parallelly. Now we can connect half moon circle forward. Connect half moon circle, and I lock this knee, and bring the body with the same socket. Half circle, other way. I put this weight here. You just watch me, I'm straight. I'm not like this, don't make mistake. Forward, we keep doing it. Inhale and exhale. So I call it half moon circle forward, connecting and shifting the body weight. Inhale and exhale. Okay, now half moon circle back. Same socket, back. Inhale and exhale. So that way you can really stretch this part. See, the one only problem is we are not allowing the pelvic to move. You maybe you eat a lot, you run fast, or you jog, you jump, it won't work pro properly. Because understand that what the problem is, you are sitting in a wrong place and continuously for six to minimum four to five hours, and that is maybe your job. So please understand this how we can release the stress and create flexibility or create more space inside. Good. Now, we don't stretch the leg properly. Even though you walk a little bit, you walk like this. Right? That's not enough. 
So stretch the leg, exhale and inhale both sides. So we can work, you do some workout. Suppose you are doing regularly, you can touch here. Then so after a few weeks, you can bring your palm up and touch here. So that means you really open this side. This is one and two. Third, three and four. Straight back. See? Really open it. We open here straight back here. Take deep breath. Breathe in, breathe out. Now throw the leg to the back corners. try to open this back corner. So if you have any problem with the sciatica nerve, just stretch this fifth and sixth and third and fourth, really forcefully stretching. Take deep breath, relax few seconds. Now, seven and eight front. Exhale, inhale. Okay, now. And when you really practice, you can touch here, see? You can touch your palm by doing this. So you can feel that your body warmed up a little bit. Now, 9 and 10, front corner. Take deep breath, relax few seconds. Now, stretch the leg to the opposite front corner.
So 9 and 10 you can touch, see? 11 and 12 you can touch. If you really practice every day. Now, back, opposite back on. Stay here. listen to me. So instead of doing this, you walk a little bit, maybe a few miles, but the movement is really restricted. Suppose you want to get this idea how it moves, so you really both arms and one leg swing, see? So you know balance, you can touch the wall a little bit and get the balance, see? That you do like 15 minutes or 20 minutes, that's better than walking. Other side. So I think you understand the ability to flex, how to make it flexible. Okay. Now, this acceleration we did. When you inhale, you are using two arms and one leg. So inhale and exhale. Then also you can do 30 seconds if you have time. Now third and fourth I change a little bit. Arch your spine. See, inhale, see, exhale back. It's all inhalation first. So really after your spine, same time you throw the leg back. So in the first part of the starts 14 directions, it was exhalation first and inhalation afterwards. Now inhale first, that was we are doing now, both arms and one leg. Fifth and sixth, throw the leg to the back corners and after your spine. Inhale and exhale. the knee. Nine and ten knee to the front corner. Okay. Yeah, almost 30 minutes. So people said I've been doing 15 minutes yoga, 20 minutes yoga. This we never started yoga posture. We just wanted to warm up our body by opening up the joints. So please try to do this every day if you have problem to fix permanently. Now bend your knees and rotate the knee. If you have any, if you hear some cracking noise, just ignore it. Other way, back. Now feet, press the lower back, bring your heels up and down. Inhale up, exhale down. Toes up and down. And toes one after other. Toes and the heels one after other. 
go up, step in with one foot and press other toes and bring your body up and down. Now touch the knees and spread your feet a little bit and open it and close. So we are trying to open up the joints in, from the feet to the shoulder. So you can do more numbers if you want to really uh, do workout. So I was talking to my friend. See really the confidence is really mainly your reputation, nothing else. Your regular reputation is make you confidence. So that's why the new students come and, come and join and they run away from me. Because they have no idea what I'm trying to do, trying to fix the body, especially balance. I don't know how many people are working on the balance. Your physical balance is messed up. Your mental balance is also messed up. Understand this. Especially after a certain age, you are going to lose the internal balance, the perception of balance. So that is very hard to maintain because you never practice. So think about this. The confidence comes only by regular movement and with the discipline. It is not for me. So we did almost right. Now I want to make sure that you are flexible here. Press the palm here and bending the knee one after other and I am thinking that the knees are really like a lever and the upper part is like a V and spin it. So when you look at my upper part of the body is not moving. All the impact is going from this pelvic. So that means the femur. From the top of the femur to the what? Keep doing it, press the lower back. Connect the breath, inhale and exhale. Remember I told you, the breathing exercise with the movement is more powerful than what you think about pranayama. Keep doing it, bring it here. I am moving the knee one after other. In other words, I am tightening the knees one after other, locking and unlocking the knee one after other. Keep doing it, press upper back. Push your tailbone back out, then rotate. Create good circle. Connect the breath. And keep doing it. Bring your arms up. Other way. The same, there should not be any much difference when you think left to right or right to left. Now we are doing the other side. Press the upper back. Inhale and exhale. Think that you are creating space inside. Like a ring. That means there is no starting and end point. All areas is really smoothly, really connected. Front, arms. Lower back. Now press the on the front. Okay. It took like a five minutes to make sure that you are connecting the breath creating more space in the pelvic. <clears throat> now, by standing we can do one pranayama, especially during this crisis. You have to learn this. It's called Nauli. Exhale to the nostril by pushing it against the gravity like a pump. Rest of there to the mouth. 
empty the lungs, tighten the abdomen wall, tighten the intestine like an X shape without breath. Inhale, come up. The lungs are really full. Wait, let it go. Okay. Now <clears throat> you can do a few more times. Exhale through the nostril. Rest of that through the mouth. Rotate the internal organ in the abdomen cavity without breath. Other way. Inhale, come up. Hold your breath. Let it go. So sometimes you have dizzy feeling. Sometimes you cannot hold the breath. It's very common. So that's why you are doing it. So how to hold the breath? How to get the resistance? How to fix the lungs and the supporting muscles? Especially, you think about this microorganism. Attack is in the upper respiratory system. You can do one more time. Exhale to the nostril. Rest of that to the mouth. Tighten the abdomen wall like an exhale. Rotate the intestine three times to one side. Other way. Inhale, come up. Hold your breath. Hold your breath. Let it go. Please do this. Ignore the dizzy feeling. The dizziness is really happening because of sudden exchange of the air. So what we did, by moving, we cleaned the tubes and cavities. By with one method, that's called Nauli. So don't forget this. Because I'm getting sometimes email, I cannot sit on the floor, can I sit on the couch, can I lay down and do this? Please do this by standing. Now I'm going to do a little bit different one stretch on the knee. So just go down on the knees. See? Here, the knees. Good. So you want to put one more layer cushion or mat or cloth, you can do that because the knees are very sensitive. Stay here. Stretch one leg to the side. I'm doing very simple thing. Stay here. Then we can do one stretch on this. Touch the knee and bring your arm up. Okay, look at my body, I'm really straight. Then slowly I get the support bring the palm down and get the support here and stretch here. So even though you stay here, that's okay. But you can go like this and practice this. Back. Take deep breath. Other side. Stay here. See, slowly down. No back. Take this in front. So I'm going to this side so that I can really watch. Stay here. Then really stretch the arm like this. And if possible, press the fingers here. And if possible, straighten this leg here. See? And look straight. Now knee down, come back. You're doing the other side. Press here. Press here. Straighten the back leg. Now back. If you are tired, you have to sit back on the heel, on the heels here, see? Actually, that's a relaxing position. The relaxing position nowadays is very difficult. Now, another stretch. Without bending your knee, straighten this leg and stretch. See? Flex the toes back and stretch this part. 
think about this, all these muscles become strong. Then gradually you can press the fingers here, back here. Other side, press here. Now back. Now sit back here. So this we can name it the diamond pose, Bajrasa. So we can do few more breathing exercises from here, sitting on the heels. I'm um, starting from I'm looking at the ceiling first. Then when I exhale, I bring the butter down. Exhale. I am looking at the floor, holding the breath. Slowly inhale back, looking at the ceiling. Exhale. Inhale back. Exhale. Inhale back. Now we can change the base a little bit. Touch the fingers here. Like a dog. So, move the tail, like a wagging the tail. This, you have to do the breathing in different ways because you have to the tail bone, tail bone in a little bit. Start from here, exhale, tail bone in, hold, inhale back. Exhale, inhale back. So the forceful exhalation, see? Inhale back. Exhale, inhale back. Stay. So I want to fix your lungs and supporting muscles. So purposefully I took the name out, but I'm talking some name to identify the posture. Now you come forward a little bit, cat. See? Spread your knee a little bit. Push your tail out. See? Here. I'm bringing the middle part of the spine, a T6. C, T5, T6, C7, up. So start from here, exhale. Hold your breath. Inhale. Hold your breath. Exhale. Hold your breath. Inhale. Hold your breath. Exhale. Inhale. Your back. Now sit back. Sit comfortably. Now, this pandemic time, we should be really careful with the upper respiratory system. So just try to learn this and do it every day. Not only from the attending the webinar, find some time to do the breathing technique. Now, First, sit tall. So how you know that sitting tall? Imagine a tail here, and you are not sitting back on the tail. Sit here. Now we have three cavities: abdomen cavity, thoracic cavity, and we can call it brain cavity. In between, there are small cavities and tubes. How you clean this? We are not diving into the water now but we can clean with the forceful air. That is the one secret of pranayama, cleansing the tubes and cavities. Don't, I have a lot of email, that's why I'm answering this thing. Don't think that, okay, that yoga I like, aloma I like, viloma I like, I don't want the name. Understand why we do this and how. Ready? So when you press here, you push the diaphragm from the bottom, then you open the thoracic cavity and you open the two tubes like a larynx and pharynx. So you have to allow the body to do that. So exhale. you learn. The second one is 
exhale to push the toxin out then inhale back the fresh air exhale all the way tighten the abdomen wall inhale the lungs are full exhale you tighten the abdomen wall inhale the lungs are full exhale through the nostril now rest of there through the mouth then you inhale you take more volume in exhale to the nostril rest of there through the mouth inhale let it go so i'm going very slowly like a baby step first we did fast cleansing second when exhale and inhale but exhalation we use the mouth also because to push more toxin out that means more air out the body will suck more air in now holding power your, your power to hold the breath that's also very important to know about the lungs the strength of the lungs exhale through the nostril rest of that through the mouth empty the lungs rest of that through the mouth again tighten the abdomen of more move the internal organ in the abdomen cavity without breath now lock the chin and hold the breath chin straight inhale lock the chin again hold the breath chin straight let it go the two reason one is locking the chin without your knowledge they are going to go out other one your mind you are really focusing on that hold that is one of the best technique for mindfulness press the lower back we can do everything to better fast breathing slow down now exhale press from the to the mouth move the abdomen wall without the breath lock the chin chin straight inhale lock the chin again and chin straight let it go stay here middle lobe of the lungs we are using different lobe of the lungs that's why we are changing the shoulder position fast breathing slow down exhale rest of that to the mouth move the abdomen wall without the breath lock the chin and hold the breath chin straight let it go inhale lock the chin again by holding the breath chin straight let it go take deep breath press upper back different lobe of the lungs fast breathing slow down now we exhale rest of that to the mouth and move the abdomen wall without breath lock the chin and hold the breath chin straight inhale lock it again then chin straight let it go bring your arms up clean little bit friendly look at one side look at the other side look up look down exhale rest of that to the mouth move the abdomen wall without the breath lock the chin chin straight in here lock it again and chin straight let it go so it's um, you have to really listen to this because when you do slowly is difficult more difficult and you hold more time after inhalation exhalation that's also testing your lungs how much you can hold and how much you can resist so i 
I read in a different way, hold for five and release for five that way. That won't work in a webinar because I don't know who are doing right or how, what all the mistake they are doing. So that's why you learn why we do and how. That depends upon your lungs capacity, you can change it. But this is the thing, you are pushing the toxin out, then you push the diaphragm from the bottom, then you suck the air back, then you process the air, you get ma maximum oxygen, again you hold it, then you push the toxin out, then you release the stress. But next one is a little bit hard. It's a weird exercise. Because we are conditioned that should not open the mouth. I tell you first thing, that's it will be very important to know. When we are young, we open the mouth, then immediately our parents will say, don't behave like an animal. We are animals. The innate moment, that was the real moment. Real, not like a statue, like a cat or a dog. How the cat taking the breath. That's why I'm learning this. How to do the dog, how to take the breath. So a lot of variation on each animal that we have no time to do that. But at least do this part because the mouth cavity is shrinking. So you have to push the toxin out through the mouth. Press the palm here. Push the tongue out. Look at one side. Look at the other side. Look at the ceiling. Look down. So we clean this part. That's the epiglottis, starting point of esophagus and windpipe here. You clean with the air. Now, this part is connected to the larynx. Upper part is pharynx. Connected to the ears and the eye and down to the starting point of esophagus and windpipe and also it to the sinus. That's the colony of this microorganism. So they land. So you can feel that. Even though you said I have no symptom, you are tired. Don't tell the people that I have no symptom. There's no use because you are tired because it inside you they got a host. So first the duty is to push it out. Usually body try to sneeze it out. Like 100 mile per hour. But this is normal, so you think that that's how sneezing. But we are doing it by force. Press the palm here. Close your mouth. Look at one side. Look at the other side. Chin up. Look down. So that's really good. So we open the mouth and you close the mouth and do the nose. So we at least clean the throat and the upper part, the pharynx. So I'm being, just showing you how many, how three or four times, but you can do like 15 to 20 times, push it out. If you want to cough it out, cough it out. Sneeze it out. Clean all the tools and cavities. This is your body. Now, inhale through the nostril, inhale maximum, the lungs are full and lock the chin and hold the breath. Chin straight, exhale through the mouth like a blowing out a candle, hold, lock the chin. Chin straight, inhale to the nostril one more time. Lock it. Chin straight, exhale to the mouth. Now inhale to the mouth by rolling the tongue. Lock the chin. Chin straight, exhale to the nostril forcefully. Lock it. Chin straight, inhale through the, through the tongue, lock it, chin straight, let it go. So we connect the tubes between the larynx and pharynx. So that's all connected to the ears and eye. So please clean it with the air. Now, 
मूव द लोअर जो बोथ साइड से नाउ लेट इट डॉक बाइकिंग द बोर्ड जस्ट फर्स्ट टू डू एक्सेलेशन से क्लीन दिस पार्ट बाय पुशिंग इन द टॉक्स इन आउट अदर साइड डोंट थिंक दिस बियर एक्सरसाइज वी आर क्लीनिंग दैट पार्ट रोटेट द लोअर जो इन गुड सर्किल अदर वे इन टू द लेफ्ट नॉस्ट्रेल एंड लॉक ए क्लिक द नॉस्ट्रेल एंड लॉक And exhale to the left. So inhale to the left. Exhale to the left. Do this like a five to ten times. <coughs> Now inhale to the right. Hold. And exhale to the right. Few more times. So what we did? Inhale to the left. And exhale to the left. Inhale to the right. Exhale to the right. Now inhale to the left. Hold. Exhale to the right. Hold. One more time. Inhale to the left. Hold. Hold the breath. Exhale to the right. Hold the breath. And we did. Inhale to the le left. Exhale to the right twice. You can do like a five to ten times. I think you are listening to me. Don't think it's only twice. Inhale to the right. Hold. Exhale to the left. Hold. Again, inhale to the right. Hold. Exhale to the left. That also you can do like ten to five to ten times. Now inhale to the left. Hold. Exhale to the right. Hold. Inhale back from the right. Hold. Exhale to the left. Hold. Inhale back from the left. Hold. Exhale to the right. Hold. Inhale back from the right. Hold. Exhale to the left. Remember, you can do slowly, gently. maybe you are, when you you know a yoga person maybe you learn you did learn in a very slow way this i am trying to teach you why we want to do this and how speed and the time you take all up to you now this you complete the lungs as we really connected to the mouth also so suck the air like a air you are sucking to the tunnel hold the breath lock the chin chin straight push it exhale like this inhale then slowly like push it out so different different technique Now, end of the day, your body want to take over the breathing pattern. So first the sign was, yeah. So make sure that you can practice that also. Diaphragmatic breath. Open the palm. Slowly suck the air, like a two breathing. Inhale through the throat and the nostril. More closer to the snoring. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So keep doing this few more time. Exhale. Okay. So if you have some debated septum or see apnea, snoring, it's all different. So you get. You can see that the sound is coming and that's something. That that's the same tube. Please please practice. I can see one of my friend is clipping the nose and sleeping in the covid time to avoid the snoring even otherwise oxygen is not getting to the blood stream so anyway i i am doing my i am doing my duty 
explaining everything in detail and this is your duty to find time. You don't want to do excuse to me. Think about this. Taking care of yourself is the main part of happiness. Ready? Sound vibration. So, what the yogis do that all mantra yoga, jabba yoga, lot of yoga, they connect with the bhakti yoga, spiritual yoga. But forget about all the things. The last sound of the O, the vibration, the sound of the bell, we can use it. So open the palm, inhale, then exhale. Good. One more time, inhale, diaphragmatic. And feel what's happening. Plug the ears the thumb and do the inhale only one time now we are connecting the sound and changing the pattern by touching the one side of the nostril touching one after other so inhale plug the ears of the experience the feedback I got from the students so they think that okay I can sleep well I'm getting better that certificate more than anything so please practice this don't think that okay Monday I cannot do Tuesday I cannot do body doesn't know any day body has no time that you should understand that there's no time and time is everything for our life. There's a problem. Take deep breath. Now I'm going to allow you to relax fully. Lay down your back. And if you have back problem, just press the feet here like the starting point of bridge a back problem or straighten the leg spread your feet and tighten the body a little bit tighten all the muscles and let go close your eyes go deep inside and just feel that there's a sky inside in dark color your shoulders and arms, relax your facial muscles, relax your abdomen cavity and think that all these elements has to down, especially water. Let go. So the name is Shavasan like a dead body it will help you to heal your body if you can relax fully stay there more time and I will let you go there only thing you have to do breathe in hold breathe out little bit and such as you might let go